And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some unyielding fluff. That's right, we're going to be putting unyielding spirit on a heart of the fluff. That's the that's the goal for today. So we're going to be playing our poros. You know, we got our poro her herder, our poro snacks. Give them some snacks. Everybody likes snacks. Mighty poro, lonely poro. You know, we're going Poros, and then of course, Aurora Porealis. This card is sweet. Seven mana burst speed. Uh, create two Poro snacks and two random Poros in hand. That card's pretty awesome. So ideally, so like our ideally our Heart of the Fluffed will at least have Overwhelm from the Mighty Poro, right? So we want to make it like a big Overwhelm Poro. And then, you know, uh, depending on what random Poros we get from Lonely Poro, maybe we get like Elusive... Um, or anything, or you know, something else like that. Elusive would be awesome. And then uh, we're gonna have Unyielding Spirit on that. So we're we're splashing Unyielding Spirit. It's our only two Demacia cards. And then we're going um, Frail Yard. Besides that, so the other thing that we're adding in, uh, you know, because that doesn't take up our whole deck. So we're gonna also just play Ash and play a bunch of Frostbite stuff because Ash is really good as well. So we got a bunch of Frostbite cards. We got Ash. We have Rhyme Fang Wolf. We have Omen Hawk. Ice Veil Archer, you know, like those four cards with a bunch of Frostbite as well. But all right, we're going to try to Unyielding Spirit, Heart of the Fluffed. This is going to be great. Uh, we'll just play on over over in normal. Um, <laughs> unyielding Omen Hawk. There we go. How the, Yeah, golf went great yesterday. Played out in uh, just a, a course out in the country uh, in Oklahoma, actually. Drove up to Oklahoma for that. Um, that was a lot of fun. I am really enjoying golf these days. Let's see. All right, so Porealis, Harsh Winds. Uh, we'll get rid of those. I think we'll just keep Wolf and Snacks. Sure. Um, thankfully, I got the, the round for free because uh, one, of, one of my friends that I... Uh, that golfed with work, worked at the place, so he wasn't sure if he'd be able to get the free round, but he did because it was up at the the casino of Windstar, and he works at Windstar. And but we got to golf at the course there for free, so that was nice because golf is expensive, and it's a beautiful course. <laughs> I don't think I could crush the ball 300 yards. Back in the day, I could get I could on you know good drives but not these days i am i need to get back in the gym to be able to hit that far but, but i'm definitely real real happy with my game it's been getting better i basically took like three years off just busy with other stuff with life and just didn't get to play and Dang. So I want to be Poro Snacking. Hmm. So if we go Snack Snack. I guess we got to go Wolf. This is... Shows the power of Omen Hawk right here. Omenhawk real good. These things are all so big. Stop trying to kill my Poro. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Alright, we need a Heart of the Fluffed. So we can eat this Poro. Okay, Ash isn't bad either. Take that too. I'm not greedy. My friend 
things, though. Yeah, they had they had a, a wonderful hand. For sure. Obviously, my Ash is gonna die, um, but we're trading we're trading Ash for both of those, and that's that's a good trade. I, mean, I I definitely can't beat Sejuani, and they have so many cards. Okay, good, not Sejuani, but man, stop taking my stuff. Hopefully, they're taking like. I don't know, a little Poros or something. <laughs> well, they're definitely attacking. I don't think they just pass back to me, do they? Nah, they attack. Hmm. No, it'd be good if they stole Poro Snacks. Like, Poro Snacks would be good for them to steal. Porealis, not that good for, for me for them to steal because they get to create two Poros to go along with the Poro Snacks. Be yeah, honestly, if they were taking Poro snacks, that would be good. Ooh. Show me a target. So I probably need to unyielding spirit the ash. Oh no, they're just not even blocking ash. So it could go Harsh Winds again. That's a risky play if they have another Fury of the North. And by a risky play, I mean they could just kill Ash. Might have been the safer play to just Unyielding Spirit the Ash and then save Harsh Winds for Sejuani. Come on, Yordle Grifter is so mean. I just have three warning shots plus three of my cards. Ugh. Oh, they took... Oh, right, they took Crystal Arrow. Yeah, that's mean, taking Crystal Arrow. I didn't think that that four one was dying. Oh, well, all right. Well, we lost to probably the best deck in the format. You know, sure. Place more warning shots. And with an awesome, awesome Omen Hawk curve, too. And mostly the reason why we lost is because we didn't draw Heart of the Fluffed. That's really why we lost. <laughs> Omen Hawk is really great. But I like it, though. I think Omen Hawk's a. I think that's a, I think that's a well printed card. I mean, you're gonna have really good cards, right? Like you're gonna have cards that are better than others. I think this is a good card. I think it, 
It's a one mana one one that incentivizes you to play uh, units in your deck. I think it's a I think it's a good card. Um, I don't really want to mulligan any of these, so I'm gonna keep them. They're gonna steal all my stuff. That's gonna be sad. Normally we probably should mulligan Heart of the Fluff, but I mean, come on, we're not we're not playing a Heart of the Fluff deck to, to mulligan in. At least not when I already have other things to be doing. We just gotta draw Poro. Gotta draw Poro. Don't have another Poro. I wanted to. I wanted to play a Poro here. We need lonely Poro. this. I don't like this. So yeah, I could have just not attacked, kept, uh, instead of playing Brittle Steel, kept Unyielding Spirit, like, this turn for Ash. But we're not, we're not trying to do that. We're trying to do Unyielding Spirit for Heart of the Fluff. Um, block you. This is a lot of damage. Why do they have to be so aggressive, doing all this damage to me? I don't like it. Alright, we found a lonely Poro. Well, we kept kept the elusive Poro alive, the most important thing to keep alive. Heart of the Flift. Why they gotta be so aggressive? Why can't they just sit back and not kill us? I don't like this. I don't like this at all.
So we go to one. And our left goes to one. So next turn we'll have eight mana. So I can either have I can either have eleven mana if I don't play anything. Oh, I mean, everything is GG. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine BMing a Poro deck. Definitely noticed that uh, the last time I played Poro, same thing, people BMing the Poro deck. Because it's like, they like get to win, and so they're like all happy that, they get to, that they're winning. And so then they uh, just BM the Poro deck. It's pretty silly. Hmm. I don't think I can do 19. Well, I'm casting this card. That card should have a cool animation. That card should have a cool animation. Okay, 0 and 2. We could have our opponent stumble a little bit. That would be nice. If our opponents would stumble, give us some time. Oh, come on. Nox's elusives? Alright, well, this is like no shot. All right, we'll try mulliganing the six mana cards because we really just can't play them here. Um. I don't. I don't think Tavern Keeper is a very good card. Um, like, so why not add Tavern Keeper? Like, what? Would, I mean, we. would I mean, Tavern Keeper could go in instead of some of our Poro stuff, but that would just defeat the point of playing Poros. But we could play Tavern Keeper instead of those, I, I suppose. A chill in the air. <laughs> yeah, there's... I mean, people... Love, yeah, I mean, that's the thing about normal, is you still play against the Tier 1 decks. Like, that's, you know, like, what we're playing against. You still play against like the best decks in normal. I think it's just people more practicing and and so on. But um, protect the villages. My light for Avarosa. So basically, that was my best play against Transfusion. If I if I block the other way um, against Transfusion, we'd still take four damage, but then they would they would kill my Ice Veil Archer. Get a Mighty Poro. So Mighty. Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, Mott says um, they play normal because they have extreme anxiety and the pressure of the rank system is too much. So they just, you know, they play normal, they play good decks and everything, but it's just, uh, yeah, don't have that pressure of the rank system. That's that's definitely uh, reasonable as well. Hang on, 
So yeah, and I'm not I'm not like against people playing tier one decks in normal whatsoever. I'm just I'm just saying that don't think you, don't just join normal thinking that you're gonna play against jank. You'll still play against good decks in normal. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. The order rewards its All right, we can have Heart of the Fluff next turn. Heart of the Fluff can be... Um, let's see, so it'll be 3, 4, 8, so it'd be 8 power. It'd be an 8-8 eight, eight Overwhelm, I think. If they cast Will of Ionia, that would just be super mean. Attack! This one's trouble. Hey, Ren, Danny. You cannot escape. It's going good. Thanks for joining. All right, got him down to one. We could still definitely lose. Which it looks like that's what's gonna happen. We need to draw Harsh Winds here. Come on, Harsh Winds. Harsh Winds? Well, maybe. Maybe. It's a little bit of defense, it's better than nothing. Ah, gross. Well, darn. Our poor Poros. What if every single Poro card costs one less mana? Alright, so every single card that's a Poro just costs one less than what it does right now. So all the one mana Poros actually cost zero, you know, they just make them cost zero. Heart of Fluff costs five. Poro Herder costs three. Hey, Niceville, the donation deck. The Mighty Poro being a two mana three three overwhelm, that's probably one that, that people would probably play. A good amount. In just other decks. Or maybe, okay, actually, maybe, what if Poro Snacks, maybe that's it. Maybe Poro Snacks is, like, the other one that it gets them all plus one, plus one, and they all cost one less. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what Poro Snacks needs to make them all cost one less. All right, let's go see what this, what our, what donation deck we got. All right, nice, nice, Phil. Here's a link to the deck. Or, like, either play it tomorrow or next Monday. Okay. Oh, the deck is private. Nice, Phil. You gotta gotta turn make the deck public. I can't see it. Dang, that's a good card. Not. 
All right, I'm just gonna let it die. Nice, Phil. Are you in chat right now? Not sure if I was in chat. Two out of five for Ash. Let yourself to the shadow. Never see me coming. Winter, take you. I save harsh winds for attacking. Opponents have just been super rude. <laughs> just so aggressive. Perfect. Okay, cool. Alright, so now now I can see that deck. Okay, perfect. Nice Phil. A new Freljord will rise. Zed Fate. All right, so I don't know what happened there. Do we count that as a win? Do we count that in the win column? What do y'all think? <laughs> yes, Poro beat down. We didn't actually play any Poros. I wish there were more Poros also. Always says, yep. Phantom says, no. Let's do a quick poll. 30 seconds. Either type yes or no. Should I count that as a win? Or no, not count that as a win, and we've still only played three games. Just type yes or no. Yes for a win, no for no, no win. Because if we count it for a win, then we're doing one more game, because you know, then we'll be going to game five. Gonna be close. The yeses have it, actually. Nine to four. Wasn't that, that close? Alright, we're one and three then. Alright, looks like <clears throat> an you know, if if the Misfortune um, Sejuani deck's not the best deck in the format, it's probably this. So we're probably playing the best deck in the format, you know, like, or, you know, one of the top two right now. So can our Poros get there? Because, see, like, we just need, we need more Poros, just in general. Lonely Poro. Yeah, Vyheimer is right there also. Like those are like the top top three. Vyheimer is a little less popular than the other two. It's kinda also going on popularity there. What I play against the most. Um I don't really want to play Icefield Archer right now. Vi Vimer is like the kind of deck that is 
always much better in my opponent's hand than, than me. Like, whenever I play it, I, like, never have Vi and Heimerdinger and just, like, mulligan a bunch and just have all these spells. And then whenever my opponents play it, they always have, like, Heimerdinger and three Flash of Brilliances or and all this stuff. And I can never find the champions. Alright, we need a Poro. We need some some Poro. So young. We're, we're playing all of the Freljord Poros that are there. Okay, next turn we can go the Porealis. play the Ice Veil Archer, but then I can't play Porealis. Now I want to play Porealis. Ooh, alright. Daring Poro. It's good Poro. Sure. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't attack with the other two spiders. They definitely should have, but doesn't really doesn't really matter. I think those champions are powerful enough. Our heart of the fluffs. Unfortunately, I didn't really want to draw Heart of the Fluff. I wanted to draw at least one one mana Poro, right, to be able to play also. Ooh, and they're just passing turn. Okay, I'll. Mm. Now nah, let's get him for two. Okay, cool. Oh, this Cliss is going to level up, and then it's going to be still going to do one damage to me. We got lots of heart of the fluffs. I don't know if we can make it 18 power heart of the fluff next turn. That's going to be difficult. I only have seven, or no, I have eight mana. So we'll have like six. It's going to be difficult. If they have absolutely no interaction, can I win? Oh. Well, I guess I should have played something. I guess I should have counted that I had 10, 10 cards. <clears throat> Maybe if I had one more...
I mean, if I had one more portal, let's see, what is this going to be? So it's going to be 7, 10, 13, 16. Ugh, so close. I need one more one mana Poro instead of drawing all three Heart of the Puffs and the Mighty Poro. I needed one of these to be a one mana Poro. I think it's just 16. Oh well, we're, we're gonna play it. Oh, 18? Okay. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Heart of the Fluffed. Come on, 18, 17. Okay, because the Heart of the Fluffed was a 16, like I said, but then the two Poro Snacks pump it afterwards. Okay, so that's how it got to 18. The Poro Snacks then pump this up, the Fluff to Poros afterwards. Everyone's a god. Come on, let's go, 18. Yeah, so the Snack Buffs, 18. Let's go, Heart of the Fluffed. Yes! Heart of the Fluff. So yeah, the, the Poro Snack buffs are really good with Heart of the Fluff, because yeah, it, it buffs up the Heart of the Fluff to begin with, and then whenever the Heart of the Fluff turns into the Fluff of the Poros, it buffs that up again. That is a good way to go out right there. Heart of the Fluffed. Getting that 18 in there. So we didn't get to Unyielding Spirit, our Heart of the Fluffed. Um, but that's awesome. I should have used the Poro. I should have used some Poro emotes, shouldn't I? But there we go. All right. Heart of the Fluffed. We got to win with it. We got to win. All right. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Um, talked about, I guess, before hand, you may have noticed we're not playing Braum in the, the Poro deck, because we don't, it's like basically, it's super, super hard to actually level up Braum and make Poros. It doesn't really happen. Um, but you know, like, we need more Poros, because I'm not playing the Plucky Poro, which maybe we need to just have it in here. Uh, just because, you know, like, the toughness isn't, really isn't very valuable. Um... I mean, I guess you could play that instead of Omen Hawk, but, um, but you know, we got we have all the other Poro cards. I wish there was more more Poro cards uh, in in these regions. You need to make some more, make them better. Um, but you know, like we're going three of everything else. <clears throat> but anyway, there we go. That's unyielding fluffs here on Meme Tier Monday. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.